Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a 333 reading for Capricorn. We're trying something new, we're doing something a little different. It's gonna be a little faster, a little quicker than some of my usual readings. We're gonna get three tarot, three oracle, three tea leaf, and we're gonna make it snappy, all right? <laughs> Some of my readings are long and drawn out and I love that. I'm definitely going to keep doing that, but I'm also going to try to switch it up and do somewhat quicker ones too for those who'd like that because sometimes I like a quicker one, sometimes I like a longer one. I just want to try new things and switch it up. All right, so this is for anyone with Capricorn in their chart or in their life. As always, cross watchers are welcome here too. Let's begin. We've got the Three of Cups, the Tower, and the Six of Swords. So, Close personal family, friendship, relationship, possibly a third party affair, a love affair, something like that. Somebody you've been dating, somebody that you've had a really good time with, gone out for drinks with, friend, family, or um, acquaintance, or like somebody you're dating, not somebody that you've been married to or something like that. That's not gonna apply with the Three of Cups, I don't think. Not in this context. Something like that. The Tower, it's a breakup, it's a breakdown or breakthrough. Could be, but I'm getting breakup and you're, you're getting very clear about this and leaving it behind. You're going your own way. Somebody's breaking up with you or you are breaking up with somebody suddenly calling it off. There could have been a conflict. There could have been something very challenging or like a deal breaker. Like you're dating somebody, you're having a good time. Something comes out about them. You realize something about them. There's a conflict between the two of you. It's not good and you're gone. Yeah, you get very clear and objective about this. You are you make a very well thought out, balanced decision to leave this behind, to learn your lesson and go towards something better. Okay, Venus in Capricorn is convention. So this is somebody who may have been conventionally good looking or wealthy or comes from a very traditional background or this is you. There could be a child involved. There could be a feeling of restriction, but like in a good way, that's very creative. Sometimes, you know, you put structures and restrictions on your life can guide you towards a very creative, wealthy outcome. You know, being having freedom is a good thing. Obviously, you want to use your free will to make decisions for yourself, but some of those decisions can be to put guardrails on your life to guide yourself or your child or whatever towards the right outcome. You know, just because you're free to make decisions doesn't mean you're going crazy. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you make conventional decisions because they're actually the best for you and they lead to the best outcome. So I'm getting that energy off of this convention with Venus and Capricorn, or you could have this in your chart. This is your energy. It is Capricorn. Publicity. Somebody is famous or a very public figure, has a high profile, somebody who's wealthy, comes from like old money wealthy background, very stable, secure. Somebody's getting a lot of attention with Jupiter in Leo. Or you could have this in your chart. I might read for this at the end, but um, yeah, that's what I'm getting off of it. Convention and publicity. Getting publicity for somebody. Somebody wants to go public or somebody doesn't want to go public. Maybe you wanted to go public with this relationship, but the person was like, mm, acting all like shady about it, wants to keep it secret. And you want to like post your selfies with this person on social media or whatever it is that you like to do and they don't like it. And this is the breakdown between you. I don't know, for some, that could be it. And then you've got seduction public seduction somebody jupiter and pisces seduction okay this is a this is romantic relationship that did not work out convention publicity sedu seduction perhaps there was some public display of affection and it was not equally reciprocated the hand came out in need of help assistance and guidance somebody with a helping hand that could help you or you are helping somebody. The table says hard work ahead. Okay. And the bow. You are highly thought of. Why do I want to get one more? This is supposed to be a 333. Three, three. The I. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. I'm not going to put it out, but it wanted to come out. See, I can't help myself. You will be taken care of in difficult times. So you may have hard work ahead. You may need help or you may be offering help to somebody, but somebody thinks very highly of you. They may even want to seduce you. They may want a second chance. They may come back around. It might be hard work to, 
to get away from this person for some of you because they have a very strong personality. They're very, yeah, their their personality is very expansive, that Leo type personality, and they are also very seductive and very conventionally attractive as well. I'm gonna read for this. Um, wow, it opened right up to Venus and Capricorn. Love, duty, and perseverance. A marriage or affair with a great age difference. A relationship with a famous or important person. A new friend of some influence. Yeah, this could be an influencer. This could also be an affair, Three of Cups, with somebody who's older or more wealthier or like a higher status, okay? And that publicity, again, reiterates that famous quality as well for some of you. Sure, why not? Jupiter in Leo. Let's read for it. Gain and creative self-expression. Blowing one's own trumpet. The attraction of some kind of fame or attention. Taking a leading role in a local activity. A prominent member of the church or similar organization. Okay, this person could be older and a prominent member of church or something. So let's see, Jupiter in Pisces, they could have seduced you or you are seducing them or it's mutual, I don't know, let's read. Let's read for it. Understanding sympathy sacrifice. Becoming the victim of a hard luck story. Sacrificing a great deal for someone who is loved. Having the intuition and ability to sense what another person wants. This card is a warning that everything may not be as it appears and that someone is being seduced for ulterior motives. All right, so is this like, all right. A catfish, a cam girl, somebody just wants to get your money or something like that for some of you asking for assistance and guidance of help. They may think highly of you. I don't know. That adds another element to it. Maybe this is what you realize that somebody had ulterior motives and it just, it's not, it's not good. What if this is somebody in a position of authority who uses that power to seduce somebody of a lower status, not because they really care about that person, but just because they want to take advantage of the power dynamic and like get what they want out of it. Okay, well, I feel like I can't just leave it there. This comes out, there's some kind of shocking allegation. This will not last this is unstable and when it goes down it might be very dramatic shocking there could be a lot of conflict involved but i do see you with the six of swords regaining balance being very intelligent and objective about the way that you handle this situation getting very clear on what it really means not being taken advantage of just because you admire this person or you love them or something you may love them but you may have to do the hard work of understanding that it's time for you to leave this situation behind. They may even think highly of you. In fact, they might respect you more if you walk away because you figure them out. Your intuition is spot on. You had that intuition card come out over here on the bottom. It wanted to. So you'll be taken care of in this difficult time. Your intuition is spot on. And that's what I've got for you today, Capricorn, for this 333 reading. I hope this was helpful and of service to you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, my email's in the description box. If you'd like a personal reading, email me. I'm going to do this kind of thing more often. I like it. It's faster. I like talking fast sometimes. I also like the long drawn out ones. Okay, I have those too. I'm going to continue to do the long ones, but I'm also going to mix in some of these shorter ones sometimes when I feel like it, okay? So let me know in the comments, did you like this? Does it apply to you? Be careful, somebody who's powerful and influential who might you know try to use that or this is you because I don't see that looking very good for you either if you were to try to do something like that I don't see it ending well for the person who tries that okay anyway I'm gonna go now and uh yeah all right I'll see <laughs> okay I'll see you in the next one okay bye